Breaking news now. The head of the Diver Drug Enforcement Administration is stepping down. That in the wake of a sex party scandal. Michelle Leonhardt, who has led the agency since 2007, has been under growing pressure to resign since we learned that the DEA agents allegedly participated in sex parties in Colombia with prostitutes that were paid for by drug cartels and no action taken by her agency. Attorney General Eric Holder today announced Leon Hart will retire mid next month. Joining us now, Congressman Bob Goodlot. He's the chairman of the House Judiciary Committee. Mr. Chairman, first, your reaction to Michelle Leonhardt's uh, departure. Well, I think it's good news. It's sad that the agency is in the state that it's in, but uh, the director has been there a long time, and a lot of scandals, not just the current one, uh, have been revealed uh, during that time, and particularly in recent weeks. We held a hearing last week where the inspector general uh, reported on uh, a number of problems with uh, the responsibility of the agents and their supervisors who are in some cases engaged themselves in this atrocious behavior and of course we all recall uh, the fast and furious uh, matter of uh, a number of years ago that's still not resolved still in the courts uh, and few have been held accountable for all of these different instances so uh, I think it's time for a change of command you know mr. chairman I, I I've got to ask you this I, I mean we Watch the spectacle of the, the, the Secret Service uh, director saying he didn't have the power to fire anybody, didn't have the power to hold anybody accountable. Uh, we have watched the spectacle of agency after agency, whether it's the Internal Revenue Service, where their leadership uh, in some cases, obviously, I think I could put it that way, uh, corrupt, uh, and in other instances where parts of the agency uh, are corrupt, uh, I, I think corruption is an apt expression for agents who would indulge in sex parties paid for by the very people they're supposed to be uh, investigating and uh, putting behind bars. I, I mean, what's happened to our government? Is there not something that can be done so that a director can be held accountable and he or she hold accountable those who are charged with serving the interest of this nation? Well, absolutely they can. In fact, uh, many of those things can be done right now. And first of all, let me say, and I think we should say this always when we talk about our law enforcement officers, the vast majority of them are dedicated professionals who are trying to do the right thing to enforce the laws of the United States and do it in a responsible fashion. But the respect of the public for this entity has been severely eroded because of the lack of leadership and taking these uh, disciplinary measures. And it starts right at the top. The president needs to appoint people to law enforcement positions who understand and respect the rule of law and are going to make sure uh, uh, that it is carried out. That's that's the, the constitutional responsibility of all of these agencies to faithfully execute the law. And if the president and the heads of the agencies would focus on that, we would all be much safer and much better off. Unfortunately, you put that in the form of a hypothetical. And more unfortunately, <laughs> it is precisely correct to put it in a hypothetical since that does not represent the current reality.